So, this is on page, uh, oh, what page is it? One, 187. And it's just like that last question in my open math. Okay, and so I've, I've got a drawing set up here. Save us some time. So I knew that was a parabola that opened upside down, had a y-intercept of 5. Uh, I know the y-intercepts, uh, or x-intercepts are plus or minus square root of 5, but that just follows because where y is equal to 0. And then what I've got is, Here's the here's the rectangle that's inscri inscribed inside that parabola. What we need to realize is this is x from the x from the y-axis, and that's the symmetric negative x. So that tells me this whole rectangle is two x long by the height of that parabola wide. So the area, since we're trying to maximize the area, we've got this equation set up here. We've got the area based on x equals 2x times 5 minus x squared. So we want to find the basic, basically find the turning points for that parabola, um, or for that cubic equation. I'm sorry, it's not, it's not a parabola. Um, so we could think of this this way. We could think about it, well, let's see. Uh, what can we do here? We can factor a negative out. I mean, we could graph it and just look at it on a calculator. I mean, that's always an option. Uh, just maybe to speed things along a li little bit, is I'm going to factor that negative out. And I could think about this. I mean, since we've been working with, with uh, polynomials and thinking about factored form, right? I know that this is going to look like x minus the square root of 5 and x plus the square root of 5. That tells me this cubic equation, which is the area function, not the original, not this original problem setup. Remember, we're trying to find a model for that area. So, I know this graph, this cubic equation over here crosses the x-axis at, at negative square root of 5. I know it crosses at 0 because of this 0 here, right? There's a 0, here's a 0, here's a 0. I just realized I made a mistake that this should be plus. So negative and positive, so that's negative square root of 5, positive square root of 5. And since this is a, a uh, cubic equation that's been reflected around the x-axis, it's going to look something like this. Come back up and come back down. Okay. Now, I know, I mean, some, some limits on our equation here, or limits on our domain, I know this, this, uh, let's see, can I, I know this rectangle can't extend past that, because as soon as it does, it's zero high. So that tells me that my limits are just going to be from here to here. And looking at that, I see that's going to be the maximum. So wherever that turning point is, is here. So, I mean, I could put this in a calculator. I mean, I'm not totally sure it's symmetric, so I can't use like a, a parabola formula with it. I mean, it could be, maybe, but I think the best bet would be to, to shy of using some calculus, which is what's scaring at me, screaming at me right now, and that's not where your guys are at, is uh, let's, let's throw that equation into a calculator, look for that maximum value, and, and that would tell me the x value so what are the dimensions? So I'd have to double that to get the get the how long it is, and then I have to take my x that I came up with, so that when that x whatever that x value is, that gives me that maximum. Um, I'll have to replace that x into my five minus x squared, and that'll tell me the height of that. Okay, I hope that gives you some way some ideas on what they're looking for and how to tackle this kind of equation.